SSS Veda Day 27. Now we're going to try something new here. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking through this because I'm going to let you watch me go through an example. I was over at my favorite wine bar and I was talking with somebody. He had some questions about Excel. He said, you know, what would you use Excel for? And here's what he said. He has data about how many glasses and bottles were sold over a week. And he knows how many bottles he started the week with and how many he ended the week with. But do the numbers add up? We're going to figure this out. So I'm going to let you watch me develop a little tool for figuring that out. But there are different challenges here. There's different wines different size bottles and different pours. So dessert wines, say a, a port, you might serve a three ounce pour and then other wines a four or five ounce pour. So we have to account for that. And people can buy a bottle, they can buy a glass or a half glass. So all of this has to be factored in. So I've got some data set up here. Well, I say, okay, so here are all of the transactions in this section. So going down to row 69. And we have, say, the Zinfandel 1, 2 bottles, half glasses, Zinfandel 1, one bottle of this port, one glass of this port. Okay, so those are going to represent the weekly transactions. Here, I'm kind of messing around with a table of a glass, five fluid ounces, bottle 750 milliliters. A 750 milliliter bottle is 25.36 fluid ounces. And over in this section, we have our wines. Six total wines, two Pinots, two Zinfandels, a red Zinfandel and a port, the size bottle, and the size pour.
So there we have it. We are done. All right, here we go. Oh. See, that's the kind of stuff that happens when you start blogging from home. So I brought everything into ounces rather than milliliters. I set up this conversion table so that we know Pinot A, 750 milliliters, 25.36 ounces versus the port in a different size bottle. But everything gets converted into ounces. These transactions, they get converted into ounces. I used the pivot table over here to just check how I was doing. And I thought about a pivot table solution, but that would have created issues because I want to get everything back to bottles. And then I would have had to make a calculated field to figure that out. I didn't want to do that. So I just used some ifs over here to calculate all of the ounces and then in this column is turning the ounces back into bottles based on the bottle size here so this muscat these 35.49 ounces represents three bottles and each bottle is 375 milliliters which is 11.83 ounces so Kind of zigzagged, take some thinking to get it all hanging together, and especially if you want to be able to add more data to it. There you go. SSS Veda Day 27. <laughs>